Welcome back to the shop, or in the back of a U-Haul in this case. We rented a 26-foot U-Haul. We're starting to move some of the production molds up to the pilot production shop. Try to get everything moved up today. We'll see how it goes. We'll take you guys along for the journey, and we'll go from there. <laughs> We've got our first load. We're going to close it up and head up to the new shop. We figured out how to get this out. You have to tip it. One of the first areas of the new shop that we set up was the classroom slash conference room area. And this is where we're gonna teach the aerospace composites course. So we have tables in here now, we have chairs. There's still some work to do. It's a little bit bare bones, so we're gonna add some more character in here. But for the most part, we think it makes for a really good learning experience. We already taught the first aerospace composites course in here and it went really well. What we really liked about it is that we could do the lectures in here and then bounce back and forth to do the demos out into the shop area. Speaking of the shop area, let's take a quick look out there and see how we're already setting up some of the production molds for the Dark Arrow 1. We've got the production molds for the Dark Arrow 1. This isn't all of them, but it makes up the majority of them for the aircraft. So we've got a series of larger molds and then we've got smaller molds stored underneath. One of the molds uh, right next to me here is actually the upper wing skin mold. So this is the surface of the mold. We've got blankets on here just to protect them. But the basic idea is that for the larger molds, we have those on wheels. We can roll those around the shop and plan out how we wanna do pilot production as we're learning and making our first parts. For some of the smaller molds that don't fit on a particular frame structure, we're able to store those underneath so we can pull those out, do our layups on there, do our infusion, and then store them back so they don't take up a bunch of room. But the whole purpose here is to just do some learning and to figure out what layout we like in the shop and more than enough room to get the first couple kits going. And then as we grow, we'll punch into that other area across the wall. In the back there, we got some equipment that we're getting set up and I wanna talk through what that looks like and show the progress over there. So let's take a look back there. We're in the back corner of the shop and we have a little bit of a mess going on. We're building up a new CNC router that we're gonna be using uh, in this space, obviously. So we've got the start of it right here. This is gonna be the frame the base of it. And then back behind me, we have the controller, the spindle, and some of the other components for it. Once it's all built up, it's going to be a three axis router, similar to the one that we have back at the hangar. It's a router that we got from Avid CNC. So we're gonna be using it for the pilot production, the run of parts like this, this little carbon fiber bracket, some of the other brackets that go on the aircraft. We're also gonna be using it for the mold making course that we're gonna be launching here soon. If you want more information about the mold making course, I'll have a link in the description for that and check that out. Anyways, there's more equipment to move into the shop space. It's back at the hangar. I wanna talk through what that looks like. So let's head back there and check it out. So we're back in the hangar and we're back in the end of the hangar, which you probably aren't familiar with if you've been watching some of the videos on our channel. This is the side of the shop where we were storing all of the production molds that we now moved up to the pilot production shop. So they're kind of crammed back in here 
And all that's left now is the mold patterns. These are what was used to actually create the molds themselves. I think some of the molds that we've showed in our later videos have been made out of MDF, and that's typically not how we do things. Uh, we typically make a mold pattern that we machine on our CNC router, and then we pull a mold off of that. So these are made out of what's called tooling board. Tooling board is really good at being machined, but it's not as good for pulling multiple parts off that surface. So we make a mold pattern out of tooling board first, and then we make uh, a mold off of that. That mold surface is made out of epoxy gel coat. That's very tough and resilient to making many parts off of it. So you can probably make out what some of these are. Like for example, down here, we've got the upper and lower cowling mold patterns. And these are going to stay at the hanger for now. Uh, we think of these as more of like a, a backup for the molds. So if the molds get damaged or if we have to ramp up production and make more molds, you can pretty rapidly do that with your mold patterns. There's a catastrophic event where we had a fire. It's probably good to keep these separate anyways. So for now, these are gonna live here at the hangar until we find a more permanent home for them. One other piece of equipment we still have to move is our oven, which we also haven't really shared much about. So let's take a look at that quick. Right behind me is the oven. Uh, it's actually built in three sections. So we have two end sections and a middle section. The end sections have one open end and then the middle section is open on both ends and we're able to put those sections together to make one large oven. We opted for building our own oven to cure all of our composite structures because once you get to an oven of this size, things get a little bit expensive. So we brought in the sheet metal, we brought in the insulation, the electrical hardware, and everything else we needed to construct this. We constructed it in this hangar and they're sitting now in this form. So they're rather heavy, they're bulky. We have to put a little bit of planning into how we're gonna move them up to the pilot production shop. So those are still here for now, but we're making plans on, on getting it up there. And that's what we'll use to cure the composite structures for uh, pilot production. That wraps up the initial move-in of equipment up to the pilot production shop. We're really excited with how things are coming together there, but I'm guessing everyone's wondering how are things progressing with the first engine start. We're making good progress there. We're pulling together footage for that. We'll have to save that for another video. So catch you guys next time.